Welcome to my Bending Zen videos. This video is going to talk about using Zen's themes functionality and, and bending it into your own theme. This particular video is going to go over some of the best practices and some of the background behind the Zen theme and how to make it work for you. So this is the Bending Zen intro. Things that you need for theming. The first thing you need is a text editor. I use Coda and Dreamweaver. There are many others out there to choose from. The second thing you need is a knowledge of CSS, HTML, and just a tiny bit of PHP. Pretty much all you need for PHP is knowing how to copy and paste from one area to another without messing up the system. And you definitely need Firebug. Most themers out there today are using Firebug. If they're not, it's probably taken them two or three times as long to work out a theme. So Firebug is a definite help. The last thing you need is a creative mind. You need to be able to take what I'm giving you and bend it and twist it and shape it into your own theme to give your unique theme the functionality behind Zen. Before we get started, the first thing we need to consider is the most efficient layout. Uh, when we're considering this, think about the regions, the div tags, and the custom blocks, views, or fields that you're going to be using. And we'll get more into this in a minute. For the regions, try not to make more regions than necessary. The more regions that you make, the longer it takes to load the pages. And from an optimization standpoint, fewer regions means quicker load times. In an effort to keep fewer regions, try to use the existing regions as much as possible. The regions are listed in the .info file in the Zen theme folder. Here's a look at the section in the zen.info file. You'll notice on the left it says regions bracket. Within that bracket is the PHP call. So where it says left, right, you're going to put a dollar sign in front of that for the string. That will make the call for this region. The right side shows the region name within the admin blocks. So when you're looking at the admin pages for the block setup, the right side, left sidebar, right sidebar, navigation bar, all of these will be listed as the region name. Here's the layout of Zen Themes regions by default. They're very flexible if you look at this. It covers just about every area of the website that you would possibly want to use possibility of shuffling these regions around makes it even more flexible than like consider if you move the left sidebar to just to the left of the right sidebar so you would have two sidebars on the right side and the content area would be on the left once you start adding this functionality by shuffling it further increases the flexibility of the Zen theme and by using these regions it makes it possible for the content that you create on these pages to be editable by users. If you hard code it into the template, the users will not be able to update the area. If at all possible, try to avoid hard coding into the page.tpl.php file. Now one thing to realize is this does not mean that we're never going to code in that file, but just try to stay out of it as much as possible. Consider your options before you hack the page template file and try to keep it minimal. The less coding that you put into the page template file means the more editable your pages will be. You can help keep your code clean by using IDs and class attributes in the div tags. You put these in the page.tpl file rather than the entire style within the div tag. An example of good div tag that uses this is this one right here where it says div id equals heading print header close div if you didn't use the id your code may look like this div style float left font weight bold background color border etc etc it keeps going on and on and when you realize this every instance that you use this div tag is going to need to be individually edited when you make a change for instance, if you use the top one, all of this style in 
information is going to be in the style sheets file. If you use the bottom one, it's on every individual div tag. So if you make a change at this top one, you're making a change in one place and it transfers that change across the entire website. If you make a change in the bottom, that change only affects that one div tag. Not all blocks of views and fields need the same style. You can create specific view styles, for instance in this example, by using Firebug and selecting the area that you want to code and finding what the ID is. For instance, this one is Node 6 View Field Created and this will only edit that resource area. I always put the custom theme styles at the bottom of the CSS. This keeps my custom work separated from the basic Zen work. The Zen theme already has a, a good organization of the existing div tags so if you're adding any custom div tags it's best to just put it at the bottom and try to keep it as organized as possible. That way anybody coming back and wanting to edit your code will have an easier time finding what they need to find and changing it. Best practices for Drupal theming can be found here. Drupal.org slash node slash 341707 it's best to try to follow best practices as much as possible because it makes life easier for you as well as anybody else that might come in and edit your site later. Especially if you're working on a site in a team or for another client, other people will want to get in and access that code and make minor changes down the line or even major changes at some point. Follow the best practices and it will make it much easier for everybody. And that's it for the Benning Zen intro. In the next videos, we'll start walking through building your own Zen theme.